let's lay out some UVs for our sashes and our claws. For the sash, let's put the main sash here, the abdomen together, and then both of these. With this one, you can see where we got, it's basically a rectangular piece of cloth, but it's draped over. So the actual geometry in our scene is not rectangular, but we know that any texture that we want to create would actually flow you know, along that. So if we had a grid, it would flow along that grid. So we could go ahead and just do an automatic map, which would give us this, which matches the shape in here. That's fine if we want to, you know, bake maps or paint textures or whatever. But if we want to make our lives a little bit easier, we can also try to lay this out in a uh, way that it is square so that the lines are straight because that would make a little bit more sense. So another thing that we can do here is we can grab this, go into UV, and we can do a contour stretch. If you come in here, you can see here that there is a walk contours method and a NURBS projection method. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on walk contours, and let's go ahead and project it. So that projects it into this entire square, and you can see that the squares are really thin now. So what we want to do is just take this and scale it down until those squares are a little bit more square. So something like that. And that gives our UV layout, makes it a little bit more clean. And instead of having this odd shape in here, we can now kind of pack things a little bit more closely together. All right, we can do the same thing over here. And this one we need to scale this way. And I want to also rotate it. So I'm going to go to transform and I'll just click this button to rotate it. Let's click the other one and we can kind of match them up there. Okay. So something like that. And then if you have the other one, if you had UVs that you brought over from ZBrush, you could use those or you could come in and create your own maps. I'm going to go ahead and just scale them down just so they fit inside that square. So something like that. Let's go ahead and add it to a material. We'll add it to our sash material. Now we've got the purple sashes. Okay, let's do the same thing for the claws. So for the claws, we created those UVs very quickly in ZBrush. I'm actually just going to use those. You can go in and edit those if you want to, but I'm going to leave those as is. And let's add a claw material. So now we've got the claws assigned. So the next things we need to do are the body. So this piece, let's go ahead and do this one. You can see it's already separated from ZBrush. The UVs are not ideal. Normally you'd want to cut off the fingers and sort of set that up. But the way that we're going to do it in Painter um, and paint those, it's not going to give us a problem. So just to save time, I'm going to use these. Now, if you are doing this for a production, you'll want to spend a little bit more time or a lot more time on your UVs and make them good. Even if you are using something like Painter, you want to make sure that they're exactly the way that you want them. But to uh, in the interest of time, We'll go ahead and just give us something paintable. Let's go in and create a body material. So I'm just going to duplicate this claw material, edit, duplicate shading network. I'll call this one body temp and let's assign it to the body. And let's go ahead and give it a color, something like that. Oh, we want to make sure we've got that selected. Body temp. There we go. And we'll select a color. And then we'll next come in and do the head. And then we'll have to do some editing on the jumpsuit uh, to get that done and the cowl will get that all done too. So we'll go ahead and do that next.